Hey, it's Angelo with Angelo's Edge again here. Uh, I got a little unboxing video of a Gerber Fast, Gerber 06 Fast assisted opening knife. Uh, that's why I got these other Gerbers sitting here. Uh, got the, one of my first Gerber assisted opening. Got the Swagger. So, there's the Swagger. Drop shut. Got this one I got a few weeks ago. I already I actually messed this up. It's the Gerber High Brow, but I was messing with the spring and scratched it up a little bit. I never really did. I should. I guess I could do an unboxing of it, but it was kind of this lock thing never really worked. So, but there's that Gerber High Brow, uh, and this is the closest. This is uh, another Gerber fast design has the the lock like this one i'm gonna unbox has it has this red you're dead and and then this and the gerber swag or no this is i'm not sure what this one's called i forget <laughs> it's the gerber or something <laughs> i have to look it up but anyway so there's some other gerber um other gerber um assisted opening knives I have but here's the one we're unboxing but before we're getting getting into it go ahead and like share and subscribe to Angelo's Edge and hit that bell to get notifications of more videos like this so there's the bell ring to get the tape measure to measure this so anyways this is a Gerber 06 uh, fast assisted opening. It's, it's, it's a modeled after, I guess, a military Gerber Auto 6. That's American made, but it's like in between $130 to $200. But this one n retails at, uh, it retails at um, $60, but I got it on clearance at Walmart for $37. So let's open it up and take a look. There's the comes in the box. It's just your standard box. It's the Walmart number 135. It is a this color is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, it's the it is. I should just put this up here. Who cares? Mm, so I can refer back to it. I keep referring back to it. I'm just gonna put it right here so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Uh, so Gerber. Uh, let's see where we're we at. Uh, Lost track where it was. oh the Walmart 135 number I guess that's what this on in their cabinet uh, but like I said it's a Tanto blade it was thirty seven dollars and twenty nine cents on clearance regularly uh, sixty two dollars but here's the what it looks like on the outside it's the flat with a coyote brown so but I guess you can only get it at Walmart this color Let's see if you look so there that's this side it's not it is not deep carry so it has a pocket clip it on, it is only right hand side tip up it has a plumble so you can like break glass or stuff whatever you has a lanyard hole if you want to put a lanyard hole and it is assisted you gotta slide this forward that clicks and it shows red very similar to this one right here. The, uh, man, I might, oh, shit. I might remember what that one's called by the end of the video. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. So, you make it so it's red and, and it flicks out. It's not as fast as like this one. You can see this one right here. It's a little faster. This has actually the same fast technology. This one's a little slower, that's what some of the complaints were, but it does come out. I, actually, if you give it a little flick, it's, I, I, don't, I don't think it's that slow. It's, it's not as fast as this one. This has a, but I think, I'm wondering if they're using the same spring, I don't know, but you could, that one's really fast, but, so, but it's the same idea, same way you gotta close this one, uh, you gotta close this one. You lift, you push this safety switch up, and close it so 
that's the let's take a look at the blade it's a tanto with partially serrated edge g10 scales it's really nicely done g10 it feels really good in the hand don't feel plasticky or at all other side just do a all the way around Just that Let's see we will pop this on Let's see how, see if this helps I'll just run it close to the here uh, I don't know if that there's a picture of the blade yeah I, it was pretty sharp it's it was it's shaving sharp you can see the texture on the, the texture is pretty good has Gerber on that side and Gerber here I don't think you'll see it anything in there it's not milled out or anything it's pretty thin it's thinner than you'd think uh, let's see what do I got on so but yeah let's lay this down right there let's put this right here we will go to this screen here and over here all right so here's what I got at Walmart it was on clearance for $37 29 cents so but there's only one left it says so yeah so ah uh, I the first impressions it's really nice but I don't think it's worth sixty-two dollars. It's worth the thirty, the thirty-five. It's worth the thirty, the forty-dollar range. It's not, to my opinion, it's not worth the sixty-two. But and it really, it don't really tell you much about it on the Walmart site. It has three point four out of five ratings. Uh, it's basically it but I found it on Amazon also but of course it's black because only Walmart has it so and it has the this is the black one but it's the same thing it has the fast technology with the fast technology stands are forward action spring technology uh, and that's the blade see that's part of the reason it, it is only 7 CR 17 MOV so it's, it's that's what Gerber likes to use a lot of on their budget blades. I haven't sharpened it. I know it came shaving sharp, not popping the skin or popping the hair off, but enough to shave. Uh, yeah. So what else we got here? Sturdy pocket clip and it has a sort of lifetime warranty. So. We will go here, and this is actually what it is patterned after, after at Blade HQ. And this is a different knife. This is an American-made automatic. See, if you look right there, it has a button. This is a full automatic. The one I got is not an automatic. It's an assisted. But this one's American-made and has a uh, S30V. So this is a much better quality knife. Just because you're paying for it, so MSRP is two sixteen, and right now Blade HQ has it for one thirty nine, and and I think you can customize your knife. You can click here and customize it, and you could change engraving and stuff. But anyways, that's pretty cool. But but that's what Blade HQ has it for. But that's not the same knife. This is this knife here is what they were trying to go for, making a budget knife for the masses. So. If you don't want to spend $139 to $200, you could spend it on something like this. That's more reasonable. Like I said, they released them at 62 probably MSRP is probably like 70 but Walmart sold them one time at 62 But they had uh, issues. People were like saying it wasn't like coming out fast enough. And just general, I, general, I think they overpriced it, and I think they had to lower the price down. I think they're clearing some out. Either they're clearing some out because there's something else coming down the pipe or 
they just didn't sell for the sixty two dollars. So, but for I, it's all it's pretty good for thirty seven. Uh, like the G ten's done very nicely. It's so it's gonna stick out of your pocket a little bit. Let's see. Use the box. Let's see. Pop the box down. How can I do this? Let's see. Bam. Uh, I guess you can see it. Mm. Yeah, shit. Mm, let's see something. Try the phone paper. So if you'd have this in your pocket, that's what some people say the clip comes kind of tight, but uh, yeah, I can't slide the paper in. Oh, here's about the ruler. I think I can get the, it in the ruler. There you go. So if it's this with the ruler was your pocket, that much would be sticking out. So it's not very deep carry. So that's so that's how much it would stick out. So some people didn't like that, but it's all right. So let's just go over this list I got here. The black one on Amazon, fifty-four dollars. Oh, I didn't even show you the price of that, but Amazon has a black one for fifty-four. I had I believe five, uh, four point five stars for that one. Uh, let's see, it has the fast. Fast technology for it, action spring technology. I already said that. G10 handle, Tanto blade. Uh, blade is black and it's partially serrated, and it still is 7CR17. So if you want the Gerber Fast or Gerber 06, but don't want to spend hundreds of dollars plus to 200 you can get the the foreign chinese model gerber puts out for this so you can get a little more budgeted style like i said the cheap the the more expensive brand is made in america it's a gerber 06 auto and it's made with cp m s 30 v but that's 139 to uh 216 so yeah so that's pretty much the unboxing uh oh let's do some i do some size real fast measurement uh so it looks like the blade is about three oh it is about three and a half inches on my on my rollers about three and a half inches total length is about like eight and a half so uh what do, what do i want to compare it to what do i want to compare it to how about move this out of the way compare it to a tenacious spider coat tenacious oh it's a little bigger than tenacious but you know it's right around the same it's not much bigger. It's kind of, you could, it's pretty close to that. How about the, mm, the, this is the size of the rat one, but it's the Ganzo rat one. So, there's the rat one. Let's come down here and get a above. about that so you can see it real up. so here we go let's do a count again tip of the thing one two three and a half and of course this one is one one two three and a half so those blades are about the same length yeah so let's try pivot to pivot man there's pivot to pivot by pivot to pivot the uh, the Gerber 06 is a little bit longer, not much, but if you would tip to tip, yeah, I think the access is very compatible to the, the Gerber is very compatible and length and size to the, the rat one or the 
Firebird copy of the rat one. Let's see, what other knife do I have that's very well known? Well, how about one last knife to compare it to? How about another Gerber? It's the flat iron. There you go. There's a different style Gerber, but there's a Gerber flat iron. Different blade, but very, very similar uh, size. There's the reverse side. So, you can see they are very similar size, not blade or anything like that. So, this would be the size of knife you'd be carrying. Like, it's not overly large in my opinion. To me, this is, I like this size knife. I like the three and a half inch blade, this size handle. This is, this is where I like the knife to be. So, everybody's different. Some people like knives to be small. Some people like, heck, I have, here's a... Uh, tenacious not tenacious this is a natrix well there's the natrix extra large so that's an extra large natrix so it's not as big as that but i i like this size i think this is a nice size so and let's see it's the thickness ain't really that thick either you'd think it think it would be thicker but it's not i guess we'll try another so you can see the thickness Let's see if that helps. Try this other. I got this puppy here. I don't know if this will work. Oh, shit. No, that's it. Oh, not really. So, anyways. Mm -hmm. Put that back. Drink some coffee. How about that? All right. I will finish this video up. Let me do one more. Let's see, do I have a... Hmm, let's go with the thickness of the tenacious. Here's the tenacious thickness. It's really not that thick of a knife, honestly. I thought it was going to be thicker, but it's, it's somewhat of a thin knife, which is cool. But it feels good in the hand. Let me bring this up here. Feels good in the hand. Uh, reverse grip. I don't really feel no hot spots. It's just feels really nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, some people might, might not like all the badging, like Gerber here, Gerber here, and the Gerber shield and sword. But I don't mind it. And, and of course, you just, you could one hand like open it. See, sometimes it's like. That's the only thing you can hear that. I don't. I'm. I'm hoping that's fine. But even this other night here, check this. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna close it. That click. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna do it again. Click. Yeah. One more time. I could see it. On, I'll be watching on the microphone now. Yep, you could hear that click. And this same, this is the same technology, this one right here. Let's see if I can hear it on this one. See, even this one has it like that. I think that might be the spring compressing. Not as loud as the 06, but it's, you can hear it, it's something. Let's see, I'm going to try something here. Alright, let's try. Uh, we're going to try something real quick before I go. We're going to close this. Uh, yeah, I was going to try doing both at once. Doing both at the same time. But I can't really. Let's see, let's see I'm going to do one more speed test. That... This one's faster, but I think it's just because it's a smaller blade. But to me, this is fast enough. I mean, it's not here like an auto, like this one. Let me get this one. I don't know if it's as fast as this. That one's really fast. It's the poker. But, but this, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy everything works on it. I wasn't sure. Some, there's mixed reviews. At Walmart, they were saying the selector switch would shake, 
but mine don't. I don't know if you can hear it. It clicks in. Well, here. You hear it. Engaged. So it, it makes an audible noise. I think just as much as this one does. So I'm mine don't like someone was showing on YouTube that their selector switch was really loose. This don't make no noise rattling around. The only noise I hear is this like I showed this right here. So but for thirty seven dollars I like it. So all right, I'm going to finish this one up, and like I said, I already told you to ring that bell, like, share, and subscribe to Angelo's Edge. Uh, catch you next time. Bye.